Hi, I'm Jeff. Hey, it's Melissa. It's another episode of Death Scenes. What's up? What's up? Yup. Today we are going to be talking about Christmas. Okay. And uh, the holidays. Yup. And how now every retail store wants to start celebrating it three months in advance. Before other holidays, because that's what's up. Yeah, and Christmas is just obviously the biggest money maker. Well, so. I, I understand, you know, they want to make money, but we both have experience with this because we both worked retail. Mm. Yep. And uh, it would, I know at least for me, it boggled my mind because you'd have, like, it seems like every year they're doing it more and more in advance. And like this year, our stores started doing it before Halloween. Mm -hmm. We had decorations out. They didn't play Christmas music. I'll give them that. <laughs> but that's that's the one thing I'll give it to them. But they still had uh, Christmas uh, decorations, ornaments, all that other good shit you could buy. So what are your thoughts on that? I don't like... It was working in retail. I did not like having Christmas come out so soon because by the time Christmas came around you were so miserable, you're in a bad mood, you're working and the stores are slammed with people of all types, really nice, really terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean there are, there are some definitely some really nice people. Mm -hmm. And but for every like 100 nice per nice per person people. Again, I can't talk. For every like 100 nice people you've run into There'd be, like, one douchebag who just, like, ruined it. Yeah, they, or they, they don't get the sale, or they just start... And, of course, it's your fault. Because you control it. Mm-hmm, yeah. You make minimum wage. Yeah, we definitely have control over Meyer's pricing systems, you know? We, we can't <laughs> say Meyer. Over Retail's the stores. Price. Yeah. Well, you can, I can. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, but people would come up and they'd be mad because they didn't get something on sale that they thought they should get on sale. And even when... You, and then you call a manager and the managers didn't want to deal with it. Yeah, and then they, so it takes them fun. about 12 years to get to the front of the store because it's so packed. That, was, that was always fun, though. And they didn't... Even when it's not packed, yeah, though, they, just, they don't want to come up. They take and their then time. people get mad at us, of course, and we have to deal with the shit. Because yep. we get paid for that. Holidays are supposed to be happy times, and people definitely lose track of it because they're so blinded by the gift giving, and like, it's not what it's about. Well, I mean, gift giving, I think, is good. And I think yeah. to some degree. Depends on your version of Christmas, so. Well, I'm, yeah, that's true. I, 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 I don't blame people for wanting to get presents and get a good deal on it to maximize. You know what they can give and stuff. I mean, and to some degree, it's even nice. But that being said, mm -hmm. if you're gonna be a dickhead about it, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of spreading goodwill towards yeah. men. Because you're not spreading goodwill. Yeah, you're trying to be a tight ass. Maybe with a few Everybody's people you like. I I understand though. Like I remember in a Meyer meeting, they talked about why they put the stuff out early. It's because if you see it at Walmart first, or like you see it as your favorite store, you see the Christmas stuff out there, the first place you see it's where the you're likely to go back to get it when you want it. So I don't necessarily it's a strategy. think that's true, though. I mean, I know I know I don't think it's true, but that's that's what they that's, that's what the that's marketing what they think. experts yeah. believe. Or experts. They, yeah. But I mean, I've heard similar stuff and. Mm -hmm. They want to get a, a leg up on it, even if it's just because they know they can't roll everything out at once, mm -hmm. and they don't always have the manpower to do it. They want to start it, you know, getting out. But that that same token, mm -hmm. like I I feel like just having it out first does not dictate where I buy my holiday stuff. I go where first of all I can get a better deal, or what has what I want, because mm -hmm. I don't. You know, if they have a Barney the Dinosaur ornament at Walmart first, I'm not going to buy it at Walmart because I don't want a freaking Barney the Dinosaur yeah. ornament. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, it largely depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot yeah. of the stores have similar stuff. 
but at the same token, if you're buying groceries, for instance, at Meijer, it's not going to matter if you went to Walmart earlier. If you want to pick it up there at Meijer, it's more convenient. Mm-hmm. And that's what they don't factor in some of the time, just the convenience factor. Yeah. But it's kind of depressing when you work there, too, because you're like, you're kind of, even when you shop there, too, because, like, this Halloween, you want to kind of get in the Halloween spirit. You can't. Yeah, that it's is like another Half the there. stuff's cleared out already, and you're like, how am I supposed to kind of get festive mm -hmm. and, like, you know get into the Halloween spirit when there's nothing to freaking celebrate. Mm -hmm. You know, at least reach, because I worked on Halloween, so it's kind of depressing when you go and you're already seeing the Christmas stuff. Yep. You're like, well, I just missed another one. Yep. <laughs> like, I'll <laughs> miss Christmas soon enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. It just blurs together. It does. Like, the years, it's all like... Big... It gets worse as you get older. You're still a whippersnapper. For now, almost, right. ooh, 25, that's going to be too much. Don't. Not at my age. Yeah. Youngling. I just pulled out My window of becoming a pop star is getting smaller and smaller. Susan Boyle became a pop star when she was like 120. Yeah, that's a good point. And look at how gorgeous she is. That's a good point. Susan Boyle, what's up? We both find you very attractive. Me? I don't yeah. like girls. Well, Susan Boyle is not exactly... <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> That's so mean. I'm That's... sorry. She's she's a great performer, though, joking mm -hmm. aside. Like, and honestly, though, she, she's what, like, in her 40s or 50s? Probably 50s. And she broke out, and she's got a great voice, so, mm -hmm. you know, nothing's impossible. Yeah. Part. That's right. I, I believe, know. I believe that. I know it's more difficult, but you still, you still have some years. Good. Yeah. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. That's, that's what I'm that's here what's for. Up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. See, that's my Christmas present to you. Blind okay. encouragement. I like it. That's good enough. I know. That's she all you loves need. compliments. I'm really bad at them. Yes. Yeah, so don't. I saw a meme. It was like. uh... Someone compliments me, compliments me, and I, it was, she, she was like, so it's like, you look pretty or something, and the reply was, happy birthday! I'm like, that's <laughs> that sounds me. like you, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so me! <laughs> that does sound like you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, occasionally, like, I'll write her and be like, you look really nice, and she's like, happy birthday! I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, she never actually has responded, but she I ignores wish it, it sometimes. Yeah. She Ignoring's the best thing, or deflecting it. Changing the subject. Because God forbid someone say you look nice. See? What if someone said you look bad? I'd be like, oh no, what's wrong? What did it, what's... Wait, so you won't deflect that? <laughs> yeah, I'd want to know why I looked bad so I could fix it. That doesn't make sense. You look great. You look terrible. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? No. I normally just hear I look terrible. You look like shit. Thank you. Like the soft spot on banana. <laughs> I cracked up when I saw that again. You're a delicious peach. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. If you're going to bring that up. I got my own comebacks. Yup. And so, on that note. So on that note, we'll end this episode. But we'll be back with another one, so. Maybe. Maybe. If you're loyal enough. So you gotta subscribe. Yeah. Definitely subscribe. Because you're hurt our feelings. We you... might look at your picture and see who you are. You know, we might do shout outs if we eventually get more subscribers. That's cool. I'm I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, shout out. And we'll we'll analyze if, like the person. Looks yeah, and uh, maybe in the know. description we'll link up um, some social media links. Uh, I we'll have a couple. We'll try, I'm yeah. I'm willing to share. Yeah, 
just for you guys, just so I can get to know you guys. I can't legally share mine. Mm, that's all right. Because I'm still under federal investigation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can share mine, though. I'm not in trouble. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, uh, guys. I did some bad things in Vegas. We better not talk about it. Yeah, shit. I was trying to, like, you know... Deflect that. They found some out. bodies. Stop! <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay, they did not find any bodies, luckily. Okay, yeah, Jeff's never done sorry. anything bad, so... No, I'm actually a okay guy? Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. <laughs> uh, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm... I'm like the soft spot of a banana. Yep. Yep. Hey, we'll uh, sign off, I guess. Yep. Take care, y'all. Have a good one. Take care.